Welcome back. In our last episode, we showed you a great camp spot at Chapman River. However, there are so many great camping options. So sit back and relax, and we'll show you some highlights and some tourist destinations not to be missed. Alright, this is Bivon Bay campground and you can see behind me you've got amenities so and bins everything here that you need now one side is this side is unpowered and the other side is powered and you just come in you fill in your envelope and just pop it in a little tray here so for unpowered so for unpowered it's 23 dollars a day so and then you've got a quick beach access, which we'll have a look at in a moment. And uh, about a minute drive from here, you've got uh, a little cafe restaurant just down the road. So we're going back there for lunch. Happy days. So we're at the Bivon Bay General Store, and it was literally just two kilometers from the campsite. Yeah, which so is good. Awesome. Uh, we've got meals and everything that you want here. So let's come check it out. Let's check it out, yeah. Oh, and petrol if you need. Short walk to the beach, babe. To the beach. Woohoo! We're going to go and have a picnic on the beach. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to watch the sunset, but now we've got cloud cover. <laughs> no solar. Yeah, it's supposed to be a short walk, isn't it? We'll see. Interesting. This is supposed to be one of the best beaches. Oh yeah, there it is, just there. Oh. One of the best beaches in Kangaroo Island, they reckon. Now, it would take a lot to beat the, the, the last one we're on. So, if it's half as good, I'll be happy. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Check that out. We've got people kayaking. Yeah. Sometimes it's even warmer like in the evening, isn't it? Yeah. Might test the waters. Yeah, then run back and get our boat, our swimmers. How good is this? Showers. So we're not going to set our um, shower tent up tonight. All the toilets, we've got toilet showers, everything here. So, uh, and it's uh, $2 for three minutes. Yeah. That's fair. I can wash my hair. Yay! Save water. Yay! We're checking out Seal Bay. So. We don't normally do guided tours, but today we're going to do the Bay of Seals. So it's a 45 minute tour and the cost is $41 per adult. There are concession prices, etc. There is an option though to get a pass to the national parks for $58, I think it is, per adult. And that will let you in numerous times it lasts for 12 months, even though you're probably only coming over here the once. Um, but 
for value for money, if you know that you're going to do a few of these things and maybe come back, then it's well worth it. So you can do the seal tour here and also the self-guided boardwalk. These tracks that you can see all, all around us are made by the seals. Oh, really? So Australian sea lions are different to all the other seals in Australia in that they have a hair coat and feel cold. The seals give birth a long way from the beach as well. Getting a little bit of an understanding of them oh, through yeah. a little bit of someone that has a little bit of knowledge. Well, that was pretty cool and we're the only ones that rocked up for the tour so we got our own private tour and I was amazed at how many seals were down there it was absolutely fantastic so hopefully you'll see some great shots <laughs> fantastic they work well hey mm. Good morning. So we are at Flinders Chase National Park and today we're going to look at Admiral's Arch and Remarkable Rocks and then we might head over to the other side of the island. Right, from the lighthouse that we were just at, it's 400 metres down to Admiral's Arch. Which you can't see from up at the car park, so let's go for a walk. Check it out. Yeah, flies are friendly here. <laughs> yeah, we might need our nets. <laughs> Haven't used them yet. Yeah, you should have brought them nets. Photos, but seeing it in real life, it's Absolutely amazing. Absolutely <laughs> magic. Yeah. Can't believe how gorgeous it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. While you're exploring Admiral's Arch, take a moment and look down to the rock pools. It takes you a few seconds to realise how many seals are down there. Great spot to just relax and take it all in.
hot tip to come up to Admiral's Arch. We're one of these. <laughs> All right. Attractive, not really, but there's probably a heap of flies on my back. Uh, no, it's not. No, they're just still flying around. Yeah. Yeah. They, they were before. They're everywhere. Yeah. Now we're at the Remarkable Rocks and it's going to be crowded. Check out these photos. Amazingly, very slow erosion. It would have been interesting if there were dates on the photos. So the story goes, the rocks were formed when molten rock bubbled up to the Earth's surface and when it cooled it solidified into granite. The incredible shapes are formed by the wind, rain and sea spray. Check them out. It's like an amusement park. <laughs> wow. Got to see this first. Oh, how cool. Wow, cool. <laughs> insane isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? We spent half a day up here. Take a moment to relax. Let's go, go, go and play. Soak that sun up on that lake. Feeling good on a Sunday fun day. Let's go, go get carried away. Grab a drink, time to party. Feeling good on a Sunday. Off to investigate another camping destination and check out that view. Uh, all right we're at western river campsite and check out that view and the drive in oh my god the rolling green hills it's absolutely beautiful so you got a little walkway across this bridge to a, to the beach so we'll... now i'm not too sure how much it is a night i, I didn't but i'll let you know We caught up with some fellow travellers and they just finished catching two big salmon and that's yeah. what they had for lunch. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they got a, a giant catch, it was excellent. Yeah. Spear had, fishing. Yep, and we had a little taste and it was magnificent. Beautiful. Yep. It's good, isn't it? So, with the camping, I'm gathering you do have a level down here that you are allowed to camp, they're just doing some work. And then above that is another level, not suitable for caravans. You've got your uh, barbecue and shelter just over there and another camping section like right up the back there. It's just a small area, it's not huge. And the road in was excellent. Uh, we haven't come across any bad roads or corrugations yet. How are all the beaches that we've been to? And they're all beautiful soft sand. Yeah, beautiful. I'm not getting sick of these views. No. Not at all.
We're going to take a quick look at Snelling Beach, which you can drive on and we haven't had to air down. Did we just miss out on the best campsite ever? You've got a windy path through a cave of rocks leading into a stunning beach with a sheltered rock pool and it's perfect for swimming. Well, we just pulled up at uh, the Emu Bay Council campground. Um, how much was it, Anya? Uh, $23 a night. I think they're all $23 yeah, a night. Yeah, they to be pretty much all $23 a night around this place. Um, so I'll give you a quick look around. Anya's just doing a bit of video editing with her two pairs of glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> what a horrible office. <laughs> yeah, chopping in it. Oh my god. Uh, the Emu Bay Beach just looks beautiful from what we can see. It's just coming in a bit... Uh, bit darker now but yeah this is pretty much it here so there's your there's your entrance looks like they're building some a bit of an evolution block or something there so at least I'm guessing at least just toilets showers would be handy as well a lot of places do have some showers and you got this side it's just all dirt of course but these are all bays along here as well we'll go for a drive on uh on the beach tomorrow emu bay beach tomorrow and um give you a look and we'll have a look around the area and see what you guys think but we're loving kangaroo island so far that's a fantastic place i don't know why we let it go for so long so after all the dirt roads that we've uh, found we've got some wire hanging down under the car um, so I've just tied it up here because it actually looks like it is definitely from my car but I've tried getting under and there's so much stuff in the road I can't see what it is so I'll pull into an auto electrician and get him to fix it up later because I'm not going to be able to repair it anyway so I'll let them sort it out. You having fun there, bud? You having fun? Happy days. This is the life, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh, it's beautiful. Imagine if we could have camped on here. Yeah, that would be sweet. Just I don't know if the tide comes all the way in or not, but you're not allowed to camp here yeah. anyway. Comes up fairly, fairly far. Sun is out, there's not much wind. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. The lavender farm at Emu Bay where you can grab a coffee, some light lunch, sweets, beer and gifts. If you're planning a trip to Kangaroo Island and want to see and explore everything, 
In our opinion, you'd need at least a week. Check this view out from the winery. The Bay of Shoals Winery. Gorgeous. And uh, now we're going to video the wino. <laughs> Hello wino, how are you today? How rude. <laughs> Riesling. Riesling. Cute little glasses. I don't normally like Riesling. So. Oh, pet, pet. Still don't. <laughs> Not bad. It's matured. What did he say? It's 2019. Yep. That's the, only, that's the only one I heard him talking about. And then we've got Saint Blanc, which is my, usually my go-to. Now I hope if the wind's fine, we've got our new sock and everything on it, so <laughs> we're going to need it because it's pretty windy up here at the moment, off and on. Alberino. It was this one I think you said was really smooth. Yeah. We have a winner. So you're still a Sav Blanc girl then? Yeah, I think so. I've always loved Sav. Yeah. Anyway, it's 2.30 and it's past our lunch time. So we're thinking about, we'll just do some toasties in the back of the ute. I reckon. Keep it simple. Some ham, cheese and tomato toasties. They're sharpening again, they're not. Yeah. Got these off a cheap Temu site. It was about two bucks or something. That's our knife sharpener. And it seems to work a treat, doesn't it? They're great. They're really good. Well, let's get the show on the road. Oh, you ready? You can cook anything in these things. We should be selling them. We talk it up that much. When you get a good product, you can't help but rave on about it. I reckon bay pretty cool. Yep, nice. Chuck them on here first, though. Oh, that one. Oh, Beautiful. Yeah. Yummy. Yum, yum. trying our luck fishing on the King's Coat Jetty. Apparently it's a really good fishing spot but more so I think in the evening. <laughs> Bit different jetty isn't it? Yeah. Picnic tables and everything. That's excellent. The other day I was on the street I ran into a face it was good to see We talked a couple hours and we missed all of the taxis mm. as we realized what time it was we both let out a sigh as we've always done as we turned to leave we knew this wouldn't be the last one no mm. because that's how it flows when you're with the ones you love the most and even when it's time to go we know what we know. All right, we're off to our next camping destination, American River. Goodbye. And the views look great already. We never wonder why. If we'll 
we'll be seeing each other again. Because we've got the rooftop tent, you come into these places, you pick out a really nice site, you drive into town, and you come back and it's gone, someone else has nabbed it. So we decided to make these up. It's just a bit of core flute, slit, the double sided tape, and uh, I'll just peg that down to the, to the ground, just so people know that someone's here. Check out that view. Oh my God. American River campsite. Beautiful. So thinking that we might stay three nights here. The weather still perfect, but we're supposed to be coming into a bit cooler weather. So I'm just going to go for a drive around and check out the place. Oh, you can even peek into the ground. <laughs> And I'll just do what we did last time and put our little sticky payment thing on there as well. Yeah, yeah, I reckon. How cool would this be? We just sat over at the, uh, what was it called? Glossy Black Restaurant. The Glossy Black Restaurant and um, a bit of music. Then we just come straight over here to the beach and we're tempted to pull our chairs out and just sit on the beach and keep listening to the music. How cool is that? It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, so soothing. Anyway, back to camp because we've got to set up. Yep. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, the we're... kitchen's here. Then the drawers there that comes out here, we can get a, still get around there easy. Perfect. We can get our fire out here yep. if we want. Or out there. Yeah, out there. Out there to It looks perfect to me. So we're going to fully set up. Yeah. Because. Because we've got cafes, <laughs> we've got oysters, <laughs> we've got everything here. Literally, the cafe is like a two minute walk, <laughs> and the, the oysters are a three, three, minute. three minute walk. <laughs> so happy days. Oh, I could stay here for six months. I it? reckon. So it looks like I'm setting up again and I'm feeling just... <laughs> I've got the best job. Well, we haven't set up properly for, for a couple of days. No, we haven't. Because we've just been quick stops, haven't we? Yep. We haven't had to put the matting down or anything, but. No, well, it's a brand new matting and we haven't even used it yeah. yet. Yeah. Because Chapman River was beautiful green grass. I've got one job, and that's to support one corner. Hey Luke, from Drifter. Maybe warn people that these screw out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, looks like we've lost one. Hope we can find it. 
And we only put it here. Right, we found it. Luckily. We have a look at that. Just screw out. Did not know they screw out. Where'd I put the pole in? <laughs> I was just about to say, now we lost the pole. <laughs> It's, it's, I'm not saying it's not a bad idea, because if you break it, you can just yeah. screw another one in. But it would have been nice to have known. Yeah. Best mats ever. Sea gear. Not cheap, but they're certainly the best. Pretty neat. Now the good thing about it is, because when, when if you're using two mats, then where they join, you can you trip over it? I do anyway. <laughs> Quick and simple, but as we said before, they're bloody heavy. Which is unfortunate. But at least they don't blow into the fire. They're nice and small. <laughs> nice and small. But they are heavy, like you said. But... I reckon for the speed and everything else, I think they're great. Got our deck and back half of it anyway. <laughs> it passes the camera. If you check these out, we just got these bags off a cheap site, Tenue site. Um, they were very, very cheap. And they're just perfect for, for our wood. All that wood down there was in that bag. Uh, I just find it to be pretty perfect. And then here's the view from up here. And I'll show you the view, our view we'll get from in the morning. Oi, 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 scoot across in here. And that's the view we're going to get here. Of a morning. Beautiful. This is what uh, camping's all about. Off grid, we've got everything, we've got fully powered, we've got nearly 400 lithium batteries, and uh, we've got everything we need now. It's absolutely perfect. So the old saying is. Well, you've brought everything but the kitchen sink. Hold your hat. Hold your hat. What have you done? <laughs> Check this out. We've even got a full size kitchen sink. <laughs> right. So, just to explain. The reason we've done this is we wanted a flat what boarding across here so we can sit stuff on and we thought well let's just be silly and print a picture a kitchen sink on there <laughs> <laughs> just for shits and giggles <laughs> it was probably the cheapest bathroom a kitchen renovations we've ever done yeah also didn't even have to call a plumber. <laughs> All right, this is what's on the menu for dinner tonight. So we've got hickory barbecue ribs, some corn, broccolini, and spuds. <laughs> Looking all right today. Yum. What yeah. do you reckon, Gibbo? Yeah, nice. Here, here. Here's mine. One's half eaten. <laughs> All the veggies are, anyway. Beautiful. Nice. Mm. Having a dinner that? by the fire. <laughs> Love it. The little sink's blocked at the moment. <laughs> Get a plumber out here. <laughs> this bowl is fantastic. So one, it's collapsible, as you can tell. And then this lid, pop that on the top, and there's your little drain hole, so you can tip it up and drain all the water out. 
and, awesome. and its induction as well. Little bit of a change in the weather today, but still not too bad. The sun keeps popping out, but we get a little bit of rain as well. I just wanted to show you the campsites around here. So you're pretty well shaded. Up this end here is for caravans, which is, has power. This is all unpowered through here. There's a fair few sites. So it's not too bad. Lots of picnic tables. And a view of the American River, which is lovely. And the bonus uh, camping at the American River campsite is that you've got a cafe in short walking distance. You've got the oyster shop that's just around the corner. And then across the road, just there on the oval, we've got a place called The Shed which I think you can get meals of an evening. I think they open up about five o'clock at night. And I'll show you camp kitchen. So you've got your shelter shed, a couple of picnic tables and the barbecue, and even a microwave. What have you been eating? You've grown. <laughs> We're heading over to the cafe. Um, but the other thing to note is about 500 metre walk, you've got post office and general store. Yeah, a bit of a decking as well. I didn't we, even notice that. Yeah, a little bit of decking on the side with a couple of seats. Yep. So you can sit there and have a coffee and lunch. Yep. Yeah. So really, you can set up and not have to drive anywhere and yeah. go for little walks, which is great. That's what you want. Uh, did you see the sign back there? It's dragon boating and here's the dragon boat over here. <laughs> How close is this? I know, it's ridiculous. This looks pretty big too. Yeah. Oh, seats. I'll have to have a good read of that. So what else is around? We really still don't know what else is around here, do we? No. When we drove through yesterday, there must have been like 50 black swans in the river. It was beautiful. Alright, so it's called the Deck Cafe. So you're going to try your first oyster. Fresh from the ocean. So apparently, apparently these small ones are quite sweet, but the big jumbo ones are very salty. So okay, here we go. You don't just swallow it, you chew it. Fine, but that was salty, so I couldn't imagine what the jumbo was. Oh, like. that must be really salty, the jumbo. <laughs> I did it. Oh, God, and you've got to wash it down. So, when you have raw, raw oysters, you must wash it down with something. Yeah, right. I 
heartbeat fresh oysters straight from the sea. Never had them before and it's just a different experience. Beautiful. So it's our first rainy day since we've been over at Kangaroo Island and I'll just show you outside. Just coming in a little bit miserable. So I've decided to sit up in the rooftop tent and do some editing. While I'm sitting in my little Coleman chair, which I'll show you a bit later, it's, a, it's just like a, a backrest. So you sit on the base and you've got a support for your back. Comfy as, I love it. So anyway, see you on the flip side. So this is the little chair I was sitting in, in the rooftop. So that's it there, and then you've got straps each side just to adjust your comfort, how you want to sit. Some ribbed padding to store it. She just rolled up. And that's it, it's a little bit bulky, but I think they work well. It'll depend on how much I use it to see if I think it's worthwhile, but even for sitting on a bench, <laughs> it's quite cozy. Yeah, doesn't work for me, but yeah. it, obviously it works for little people. <laughs> we decided to spend our last night at Kangaroo Island Seafront Holiday Park just to give us some time in the morning to chill and relax at a cafe before boarding the ferry. All right, cooking up a storm, slaving over a hot stove again, while Gibbo's in the ute, chilling. Right across from us are the toilets and showers, but I've got to show you the showers. It's obviously all new. Pretty flash after what we've been doing, but you know. It was $40 per night to stay here. Not too sure if all the sites are the same. And they're all powered. So the sites can be a bit dodgy here. Check this van out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leaving on a wet rainy day. Yeah, good time, wasn't yeah. it? Say. Right, checking up the ramp. Oh, it's a bit flash, isn't it? We hope this episode was informative and inviting for anyone planning a trip to KI. We finally did it and we loved it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up to help support our channel.